Welcome back, guys, to another episode here of Greg Tech Community Edition Unofficial. Last time, we ended up getting ourselves that cracking unit over here done. And then I realized, looking up some stuff, the number one goal that I really have with all of this other stuff here was to get to raw gasoline here. Now, to make the raw gasoline, you need naphtha, so we have that. We need refinery gas, we've got that. We need methanol, and we need acetone. Um, there are processes to get this without having to do what I'm gonna, what I planned on for today. However, it's not the easiest to get through it. Um, one of the ones that they did have is acetic acid, it, acetic acid which if you combine that with quicklime, which this stuff is never consumed, so you can just keep pumping in more acid and get acetone and oxygen. However, to get this one, you still need to distill down wood vinegar. There was a couple other ways I found that you can get it out, so what I basically notice is what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna get a greenhouse and pyrolysine oven going because we're gonna want this acidic acid. The water we're probably just gonna dump. We need the ethanol, we need the methanol, and we need acetone. We might need this later in the future. It's not extremely pertinent right now, but it will help us out. Um, eventually as well, we'll be able to start doing stuff with getting this fermented biomass too. So that's gonna be nice. I do have most of the parts all whipped up. I just have to make the two separate parts here. So we got ourselves our greenhouse block and our pyrolysine oven block, which says we're missing a piston. Did that? That consumed two of them. I made four. There we go guess it didn't think it quite could see what I was looking at. Now that'll actually come back. If we come back here, it'll finish this two quests. So that'll finish this one, which gives us the 10 casings. And this one does go ahead and explain that it is a greenhouse. Best uh, will be my source of wood and other plants if you wish. The wood production is enough to keep running two pyrolysine ovens at their lowest power. You can also use this for automated resin, but the yields are quite low to kept the incentive for other rubber sources later in the game. Um, at 40 EU per tick, it can run off of a single LV energy hatch. So, I looked at that wrong, because it said, it said that it could, it required MV energy, so I don't know. Um, I'll have to look at the recipe again. There's that. We get the pyrolysine oven, which is going to give us four stacks of wood. I don't need the, the coal. I could basically automate mining that up and getting tons of it pretty fast now. For this one, there are recipes that can accept nitrogen to double the speed. This is not quite worth it right now, and you'll be fine with just one LV hatch and superconductors to supply a steady 64 EU per tick. Copper nickel coils are more than enough to get started, but you may want to upgrade eventually. So that is one of the things we do have to grab out our copper nickel coils. So let's go ahead and grab those out. We'll take a sleep so we can build this in the daytime right after. Although it looks like I am going to have to get a couple more of those coils and realize we've used that many in crafting. Because it is 18 that we need, so we need five more coils. Let's look at the recipe for those one more time. That's it. Sorted. So we need eight tin alloy and then eight bronze foil. So let's see what kind of bronze we've got. So that's going to make us one more. So we might as well just make a couple. We'll do 12 and four. Let's grab our copper nickel wires. 
So we'll go in with two, three. There's one, two, three, four. So we're gonna need another eight of that too. Let's go get the bronze going and we will set up the greenhouse first. That. So with some of our irons done, I'm gonna go get this into wrought iron. Considering I'm not entirely sure if I have enough of these machine casings, even though I've been slowly trying to add all of them in that I can. Stack. And let's go ULV. We got 16 of those. So, dump those in here. Take that. That will give us another eight. All right, so now with the greenhouse. It does show that we do need a three by three in the center. So we'll do that first. So we've got, I wanna place it probably right over here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. Now at the front, we've got our greenhouse block, I believe, at the butt, the base. Nope, one up. But placing that fluid input hatch probably right here would be the best. So I can bring it up from underneath. So we want our fluid input hatch right there and then I want the energy input the output there maintenance I actually want right up front and center uh, there is that one there's that one right there maintenance hatch right up front and we need our greenhouse block to go right here we also are actually oddly enough needing to get some dirt so let's see do I have any dirt up here got four we need a total of nine there we go So the next layer is our dirt. So just a little nine by nine. Add in our casing blocks all around. Go. Not missing that fluid output hatch. I do want set up at the back too. There, we'll go up one and two. So that'll be all of those blocks. And we need to make sure we're gonna have to definitely get more of these. But then we've got our tempered glass here at the top. We just need to keep feeding iron into the um to get some more of this because that is the only issue with the greenhouse is you do need a ton of these blocks which each require eight of the wrought iron so and we need four eight twelve sixteen more so I need another two stacks here I know it takes a bit longer to do this, but I'm centrifuging it because we get an extra ingot per three, and then we can crush it back down to get an extra ingot as well from the limonite. So once we got this done, we'll just need to get a second distillery tower. I think we'll probably want to set this cracking unit up to not be doing 
doing stuff with this just yet. Actually, was that right? I think that was right. Not necessarily. So we're going to get this up. I think we're going to put our pyrolysine oven right here. And then I want our chemical reactor somewhere pretty close by. So probably right over here. And then I can pipe in my refined gas. My naphtha will get our raw gasoline. And once we got that, we just need to combine it with tooling. So actually, we do need this. Because to get our tooling, distillery, what the heck, that's not what I wanted, recipe for it, with lightly cracked it's 40, with severely cracked, no, it's 30, so we get less from that. But we do need to make this distillery tower. This will give us... This is the only thing, is we need to get up to the ethylene. To get up to the ethylene is pretty far up there. But what we can definitely start is we can start with a three-level distillery tower to get us the tooling. And I have to get the naphtha piped back into here somewhere. And then slowly work our way up and build more tanks and things as we go. Because the tooling is going to be our first to give us tons of power. Because that gasoline, when we burn that gasoline here, one liter produces 1,600 EU per tick. Which means it's going to burn eight to produce that in the same amount of time. But when you look at that compared to the light fuel that I'm currently using, or even the diesel that I started making a little bit of. So that in a combustion engine, one for 32. And it's the same process time. So it's one of those vastly increases our power output and consumes a lot less fuel over time. So we'll be back once I get some more of this iron stuff smelted up so that we can have our stuff work for the greenhouse.
it is. So I do have everything. Apparently, I guess I didn't close it. Thought I did. Come back here. Do that. Did that work? Maintenance fine. Just need ourselves some power. So we can do. I think actually what I want to do for now. Get this going like that. I want to look at these energy hatches really quick. And so it can take in up to two amps. I really don't want it to, but I'm going to have to keep that in mind. That's a bad idea. Can I break it back down? I can. Just to make sure this works, we're going to go ahead and put... I'm going to do that again. Put that there. And get this over... One, two, three, four, five, six. Dump all the tools that aren't necessary away for now. Sorry about our wire, oh, wire cutters. Just gonna put this there, put that there. We just need our steel drum. We can actually grab a nice big old barrel of this refinery gas. Place that right on in to let it start going. Now this is totally going. Awesome. Now it does look like what we're going to want to do is switch this to a different side. So I'm thinking before this gets too, too much further along, point that out. See if it works facing it this way. That way. It does. So now I can go ahead and pipe in our wood into the pyrola seam. This one needs its maintenance done. Grab out our tools again for the maintenance. This should give us a full stack, and once that's done, this one, let's just get the, hmm. uses in the pyrolocene, okay, we do need a circuit in there, so getting our wood vinegar, for now, we're not going to use nitrogen just because I can't afford to. But this will give us number seven is what we want. So we got to go get a circuit for it. Forgot it. I needed a circuit in the first place. So get our circuit. Put a number seven on there, and this should give us our wood vinegar. And as soon as we got that, there we'll be be one step closer to our goal to get Woo! standing too close to that so I got electrocuted there that was honestly a little terrifying thought I was gonna die it's like no 
Don't touch those wires, guys. Okay. Wait, how long does it say? 20 seconds? It says it needs more. You need more energy. What? Oh, this produces only one. Crap, that's what the issue is. That was. Hold on, it's at once. It's fine, this will do it one more time and then it won't be able to process another one because it'll be full. So it should idle. Now this should start. Yes, no? out again all right buddy boy let's look at this should be getting plenty oh no we should be we should have plenty is it because the cables aren't covered it can't be because the cables aren't covered let's quit that I'm not entirely sure why it's not going through its process properly but that gets us set up both those machines. I'm going to definitely have to figure out what exactly is the issue. No. Anyways. Thank you guys here for watching. I know this is quite a big step backwards because we had to get um, the this online so we can get to our gas and this is back in medium voltage age but getting this set up will get us one step closer to a proper fuel source so that uh, when I make the additional I think it's five more generators I can make for the high voltage I think I'll end up totally end up either with eight or nine of them that'll give us plenty of power for all the different machines we're gonna have to run for the little bit before we start getting into our EV era, in which case we'll start getting bigger multi-block generators. So, thank you guys for watching here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!